Hey, what's up? What's up? How y'all doing out there? Uh, I want to welcome you back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so you can be uh, notified as I keep you what's going on in the news. Because you read the news with your girl Camilla Bates. You read the news. And I'm going to keep you right here in the news. Now, it's a lot going on. Um, I'm not going to hold you long. Um, I just want to talk about... Yeah, you see Candace and Cardi B. Um, now, they say Cardi B and Candace Owens' beef erupts. Here's every dish they said to each other. Now, Cardi B has not been shy about voicing her political views. Uh, lately, on Sunday night, September 6th, uh, she traded jabs with the conservative Putinit Candace Owens. Now, the Twitter beef appeared to be sparked after Owens posted a video from the Ben Sharpo show where she criticized Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden for conducting an interview with the Bronx rapper, who is known as Cardi B. And it's one of the biggest insults Owens said of Cardi's uh, sit down with Biden. If black Americans are not insulted by the fact that Joe Biden who has been hiding in his basement for the entire year, made the appearance to come up because he was going to do an interview with Cardi B. We have nothing better to offer. Now, these are the words of Miss Candace Owens. Now, she said it didn't take long before the Barty clap back. Responding on Twitter, she posted, you want to know why Joe B Button uh, got to talk with me, Candace? Because I have the number one son, and yet my sister can't go to the beach in the Hamptons without Trump supporters harassing her because they had been by themselves and Santa Claus was harassing my sister all because they were Afro-Hispanic gay couple. Now, uh, Cardi lady later added, listen, Owens, Owen needs to be mad at Trump, not me. Um, after all the hard work we did supporting him, he did not pick her up to speak at the Republican convention um now Owens then continue to spec to clarify that Joe Biden's got to talk to you because you have a number one son and Santa Claus was harassing your sister um K. Okay. uh thanks for clearing that one up uh she posted now Cardi rebutted yes you are right um i have the number one son and i have a huge platform and i can make millions go vote to get that man uh use you you know to get that man um that man used you i don't want to argue with you candace i really don't have the time uh i honestly just feel very sorry for you uh the two continue to bash each, blast each other over their political views uh with cardi calling out trump for racism and owens putting biden post um political ills on front street and saying he thinks cardi is dumb now, Candace Owens, since most black people uh, didn't have the simple spine to admit that at Ben Sharpo was 100% correct about I Am Cardi B and how her music and her platform contributes to the degeneration uh, of black culture and values, uh, here you go. Now, this is Candace uh, Owens, and this is at the real Candace Owens. She tweeted this out. Just if you guys want to. She's never really written about, like, go out, grab a gat, and just kill people. But unfortunately today, that's the majority of what, what rap has become, right? And and so and, and I completely agree with your assessment about Cardi B. Um, it is one of the biggest insults. If black Americans are not insulted by the fact that Joe Biden, who has been hiding in his basement, um, you know, for the entire year, made an appearance to come up because he was going to do an interview with Cardi B, do we, do we have nothing better to offer? I mean, this would be akin to Donald Trump saying, I'm going to give no interviews, but he came up and he decided to give an interview to Justin Bieber. Right. I mean, which I actually, Justin Bieber, I'm sorry. I know you're a Christian man. I don't even want to put you in the same boat as Cardi B. Um, but it, it would be absurd. Right? White America would go, what, what is this? Why are, why are you being interviewed by Justin Bieber? And it's because you're pandering, right? You're pandering. You look at Cardi B's Instagram, you see she has millions of followers, and you think, okay, this is an illiterate person. And if I, if I appeal to this illiterate person and she does, oh, like she literally did uh, uh, in, in the middle of this interview, they think she's cool, she's hip, just by sitting here and, and taking this interview, black people will vote for me. It's basically saying, black people, you are stupid. 
you are dumb and you're so foolish. I mean, do you think, what if she had just said in the middle of the interview, Joe Biden, can you name one Cardi B album? You know, Joe Biden, do me a favor, just one Cardi B lyric. He couldn't do it. Of course he's not, because he's being handled and they're saying black people like this person. This is what they're into. And, and so here you go, talk to her. Same thing with Hillary Clinton when she went in the breakfast club and she said she had hot sauce in her bag. Right? She didn't know what Beyonce was talking about came from. One of her handlers said, say this, right? Probably got the questions ahead of time. Say this. Say you keep hot sauce in your bag. Right now, Beyonce's uh, song is trending and it's hot sauce in my bag swag. And she looked like a fish out of water and said it. It is demeaning. It is pandering. It is ridiculous, okay? And she asked pointedly ridiculous questions. I want lower taxes, but I want universal health care for all. She had no idea what she was doing. And yet both Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden made the time to sit with her because they believe black people are stupid. And black people that thought, yay, that's a win. No, it's not a win. It shows you that they still believe that you are so stupid that they couldn't find many of the uh, amazing intellectual black people that we have in the world to sit down with and ha ask them tough questions. An interview with Condoleezza Rice, right? A an interview with Larry Elder. Uh, you know, if, even if you want somebody that's, uh, that is a Democrat, that's fine. There are way more intellectual black Democrats you could have sat down with, yet you, cho you chose an illiterate rapper because that's what she is. She's illiterate. Well, I mean, I would have paid money. Whoa. Mm, now, now, Cardi B, uh, she did clap back. Uh, she tweeted, I am Cardi B, and I am Cardi B uh, on Twitter. You want to know why Joe got to talk with me, Candace? Because I have the number one song. And yet, my sister can't go to the beach in the Hamptons without Trump supporters harassing her because they were by themselves. And Santa Claus was harassing my sister, all because they were Afro-American um, gay couple. Uh Try to show you this. Fuck out of here. Move your vehicle out of here. Move the fuck out of my face. Okay. Don't ever come to a female pressing her while I'm not here. I don't give a fuck. Right. Stop the fuck out of my car. Stop the fuck out of my car because I'll pay my fucking taxes, nigga. Stop the fuck out. Get away from me. Get the fuck out of my face. Who in my vehicle? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Tyree. Shut up. Suck my dick. All right. Thank you. Bitch, I got a strap. Yes, I got a dildo. I'll show it up your ass and your husband's ass. Suck my dick, bitch. Get the fuck out of here, Karen. I hope you know, I hope you know that you will be online and your husband. And, yep. And guess what? And guess what? I got some. Okay, so since uh, most black people didn't have the spine to admit that, um, was 100% right about I Am Cardi B, her new music and her platform contributes to disintegration of black culture and values. Uh, here you go, Candace Owens, she then tweeted again and had some more things to say. Um, they just absolutely went back and forth. Um, About, like go out grab a gat and just kill people but unfortunately today that's the majority of what what rap has become right and and so in, 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 yeah so um no that's the um i am cardi b she came back and said no that's the pink man was harassing my sister girlfriend to move her car for no reason then my sister came there had it back and forth and they stood quiet when she whipped that phone out they was harassing two women you gotta catch the right effing one um now that's what i am cardi b has said um now the, it just went a whole lot of back and forth and candace say uh you are encouraging millions to go and vote for the man that liked the entire generation of black men maybe go google joe biden in 1994 crime bill joe biden used you bernie said to them know or like your music they think you are dumb this is what candace is basically saying that uh she they think cardi b is dumb um and then i am cardi b uh came back and said and you are encouraging millions to vote for a man who laughs every time a black man gets killed by a cop and tells millions of Americans to drink bleach. Trump didn't even have you talking at the Republican convention. He thinks you're dumb. Masa did you did you dirty, but you mad at me. Um, and then Candace say, lastly, asking racist Joe Biden to lower your taxes in the same breath that you ask for free universal health care is about as thick as it gets. Uh, this is Candace replying back. Uh, when you stick to music, you can get left alone. When you dabble in politics, you will get called out for platforming ignorance. Um, now Cardi B, she did, um, 
later she did she did clap back and she basically said well paying taxes is something that as much as i hate it as a reality i will always have to pay but i'd rather have my tax money to go free education than police funding uh use my money on something useful your president use our tax money to elf his in empty campaign runs um now candace Owens, she did clap back and say i'm almost six months pregnant pregnant and had to rip rest in peace uh i am cardi b a new wop <laughs> a new wop um now cardi b say you your baby singing wop 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 this some ass oh drive <laughs> Oh, girl, they need me for sale. Now, Cardi continued her uh, Instagram, her taunts on Instagram. She even pulled up on 2018 tweet where Owens praised Cardi for uh, being Kanye exquisite and having free thought since 2018. You knew the power and potential that the power I have for a new beginning and change. Uh, I people will call you dumb, stupid, but deep down inside, they know you are a force to be reckoned with. Uh, while Owens has, um, while Owens has praised the likes of Kanye in the past, she becomes a a, a pirate in the hip hop community. Back in June, Ti commended the cancel culture, but made an exemption for uh, Owens. Um, yeah, that one. Uh, I'm just gonna put it like this, Candace. Owens is, she knows how to cut you up really good with words. So does Cardi B. So this is like a really good back and forth. Um, but it, I, me, with, Car, with Candace, I would probably have to go and pull out a dictionary to actually get some words and terms and technology <laughs> to actually go back and forth with this woman because this woman really knows how to rip you up in the conversation. Uh, but Cardi, she did hold her, her, her she stood her ground. Uh, she just didn't let this woman just rip her apart. Um, they just have different, different views, different opinions. Cardi does has a big following, a huge fan base. So it is a lot of people following her. Now, um, but like Candice is saying, Candice made a lot of good points in Silly Cardi. Drop in the comments below of what you think about this whole little, um, battle back and forth between Candace and Cardi. Uh, the music that you hear playing is by yours truly. It is called I Am God's Greatest Creation. Would you please make sure that you go and stream, download. Um, you can find it streaming on all major platforms. Spotify, you can go to right here to YouTube. Don't forget to hit my website, www.carmelabakes.com. Press the shop button. It's only $1. That'll just be supporting me, helping my channel. Um, I appreciate all you guys. Um, and all Everybody who has subscribed, all new subscribers, all old subscribers, I love y'all. Uh, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you for showing me the love. Thank you for believing in me to bring you the news. And um, until the next video, you read the news with your girl, Camilla Banks. You read the news. And I'm going to keep you in the news until the next video. Peace.